I, I wanted to transition into one of our uh, one of our segments Subscribe. of the channel, uh, YouTube Flowers, where oh, yeah. we give somebody our flowers. You know, somebody we just want to acknowledge on the YouTube channel. Um, somebody who's been occupying your time on YouTube, and you said that you you're an avid YouTube uh, podcast listen podcast listener watcher. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Which ones like do you appreciate? Like, do you like? You know, you want to shout out any uh, podcast that you fox with? Um, man, uh. So many, man. To be honest, uh, a new one I just got into was uh, like yesterday was uh, he used to be on Everyday Struggle, Wayno. Okay, mm. yeah, yeah I fuck with Wayno. Wayno, he dropped his like new podcast, Dope. two episodes back to back, and it's pretty impressive. It seems to be just as of now, just like him having a stream of consciousness. Not really having any guide with it, mm. but it works. It's pretty dope. Man, Wayno's been around for a minute. I yeah. Know, Twitter. He was a Twitter dude from when yeah, I, like, yeah, I started. Yeah, exactly. You know, him. he's really educated, so he's really good with his words. So I was really impressed. I was like, wow, this is this is going to be a really good podcast once he gets guests on it, et cetera. He'll get his views up higher. Mm. Um, but from just like a overall, I guess someone who's just bigger and in that world, I do like Andrew Schultz a lot. Um, Sh- yeah, Andrew Schultz is really, really good. Like, I'm familiar with everyone else that's kind of like obviously bigger, like you know, Tom Segura yeah. or uh, Bill Burr or mm-hmm. you know, uh, and what's his name? Uh, t- uh, the, the Asian uh, Bobby, Bobby, Bobby Lee, Lee. Bobby, Bobby Lee, and Andrew Sanson, Bobby you know, Lee. All them. Uh-huh. You know, they go all of them, they all go hard. <laughs> it's it's very, almost like, like the Joe Rogan umbrella, 100%. Because you know? all of them will credit him too, like Theo yeah. Vaughn, like they're yeah. like a lot of their stuff. They took to the next level after a Joe it's Rogan, Joe Rogan. Uh, appearance. Joe Rogan. And to be honest, a lot of them have way better content than him, and they're really more organized than him. But yeah. obviously, he's just the grand papa of it he's all. Like that's like Joey Diaz. Yeah. 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 No, Joey hey, Diaz, Diaz, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah Joey Diaz is hilarious. Yeah, Joey Diaz just came back with his again. Yeah, he's and he has like a new name. Cool, it's uh, really good. Uncle Joey's joint. Yeah, it's, it's really good. Yo, was, I heard he was coming to Providence, yo. I was like, yo. I wouldn't be shocked. Like, if he's in Jersey, like, yo, that my mother won't be there. But, like, you know what I'm saying? We'll film the whole thing. We'll cover. Uh, some things. This guy from the from the Andrew out. Andrew Schultz's podcast, um, uh, Ashkash was here Ashkash. in Providence, uh, the like a month ago. I'd be Our tripping out. David, David went to see him when you're listening uh, to it, and they're like, "Yo, I'll be in uh, Providence." I'm like, Providence. "Yeah, I didn't even, like, yo, I didn't even know." I was like, "Why well, would I went to go see him?" We went to go see him. He's coming no, too. Chris DeStefano. You've heard of him? He's, Chris DeStefano. I've, I've he's like a I've real like uh, New York like kind of uh, he has, history hyenas. I, I think I've seen him on a podcast. Like, he's been on so many. Yeah, lately. he's been doing um like a residency in, in LA but he's coming over here uh, Big J Okerson I don't know if you're familiar with him yeah. he's com- he's comes down people because Providence has a good comedy club like the comedy connection gets a lot of love yeah. actually Dope. so people come out here all the God, time I've never been for real yeah, you want to take time I, I brought my I girl you took a, I brought it to like a COVID show go, it was a little man. spaced out but it was so great yeah, yeah I've been down to go I, oh, I've only been to one one uh was there only been one? Yeah, one stand-up show. I mean, if you don't Cat want to Williams laugh. in Connecticut, that shit was hilarious. Oh, that was like crazy. crazy. Did you see Chappelle? No, I no. never went because I got canceled. Oh, damn, yeah. Chappelle. Cat Williams, still my favorite comedian. Yeah, For Cat real? Williams. Yeah, Cat Williams is on some legendary shit. <laughs> that shit was hilarious when he came. But I would love to see like where'd, Dave where'd Chappelle. You see him? Like what venue? It was a uh, Foxwoods in Connecticut. Nice. Yeah, that shit was crazy. Mm. Yeah, but yeah, I, I really do I fuck like with that. Andrew Schultz. He's like such like he's like new media. Like mm-hmm. he's put, like he's pushing it so far forward. The fact that his YouTube thing is on Netflix, like yeah. the shit he used to do. Yes, he, yeah, that type of content. I was thinking that like once we have like our own setup and everything, I feel like we can do that for hip hop. Like no one does that 100%. for hip hop. Where it's like sort of like the he said his inspiration was uh who was it uh. Was it Bill Maher? No, no, no. John Oliver. How John Oliver does oh, yeah, his yeah. like uh the Daily Show type shit. The Daily Show type shit. Because what happens is now, is there's so many worlds that are so connected. Like so and it's so yeah, yeah. And in this uh and it's like journalistic world. All these worlds are like connected. Like you got like the white mainstream uh night night show guys, right? Mm-hmm. But like they come from the comedy world. A mm-hmm. lot of them are comedians. Like Conan was a writer for SNL exactly. for years. Exactly. You, know? you know, and like that there's so many intertwined worlds. It's it's pretty amazing. But um yeah, so they uh uh damn, I lost my train of thought. Yo, what I the was, fuck? What was I saying? Nah, we was literally I was just about to lose my train Fucking of thought. Fucking shit, Murphy. So, Fucking shit. I know. Damn, Murphy. I stepped <laughs> on my spot. What was I saying? We were talking about Oh, Andrew Schultz, Schultz, Schultz. is yeah. inspiration for the content that he creates. Yeah. So uh <laughs> I will be doing that all the time though. It's Yo. so hard to get back. I got so excited. I got like this man got this man got a contact. Like a little horny. His red roller coaster. Got a little horny. Little contact guy. So Andrew, Andrew, I think it's John Oliver, The Tonight Show, because the late night show, uh, because of, uh, I think he was doing it before COVID, he might have been, but because of COVID, they do content where it's not with like crowds, 
Yo, so it's so just awkward. for like YouTube. So you're just talking straight to the camera and it's already scripted mm -hmm. and it's like straight like to it. It could be five minutes, eight minutes, however long, mm -hmm. short, but it like gets to the point and it gets millions of views and it's really concise and people love it. Bro. So John Oliver does it every week. Uh, and he, he has like a, I think a deal with HBO. I think it's on HBO or Showtime, one of those channels. And like he uploads it to YouTube though for free. So uh, yeah. he's like a goat with that. Like he's really good and really consistent. So Andrew Schultz took that sort of concept. He did it in his own studio. Uh, at the same time, they would have clips like popping up there. You have to watch it three yeah. times, bro. Bro, amazing. And like they would put oh, yeah. it on uh, IGTV and then Joe Rogan would repost it. Mm -hmm. And then it would get so much attention because it's really good. It's really like hilarious. Like he would have jokes. Like he'll talk about like, you know, whatever's happening that week. And like it'll be really, like, really good. And they really think out the. the yeah, they think out the, yeah, they put, yeah, they really go really hard with it. And um, so that shit got picked up for a Netflix show, and now it's on Netflix. And I think he's literally, I think he stopped doing them on like everywhere yeah. else because yeah. maybe Netflix wants him to stay on Netflix with Probably. it. Probably. And I was like, yo, this is amazing. He got that bag from that. And like, that was just like not even a part of his podcast. Like, that was like a separate, like a branch off yeah, of it. I was like, yo, we yeah, do that yeah, shit with yeah. you, like a uh, hip hop. And like we'll take off, and like we're two people, so we can do be creative with it. We can do like two minutes me, and then him, mm -hmm. and like I can do like a, a certain like narrative, like maybe go the funny route, and he goes the serious route, mm -hmm. and like something like that, and like that should blow up. Like we yeah, can update like, on like SNL. How exactly. To, like, move over to one guy, and then because no one does it for hip hop. No one does it. Like, no, no one does jumper it. is trying. That shit, yeah, no man. jumper tries, but it's like he's not consistent either. It's kind of corny. It's no, not, no, no hey jump. People Any, like no jumper and Vlad. Either. They have this like uh, this thing shadowing over them where they'll never really get 100% like nobody's yeah. ever really gonna trust them I don't know what it is like I like Adam a lot but I don't really think he's the should be a, a necessary voice of the culture yeah bro it's, 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 it's the shadiness behind it you yes. really don't you know he's not really you don't you see that he's not from that cloth you know you can just read between the lines and like when people read between the lines it's like you're gonna get what you're gonna get you know and he's like he has the connections all the connections of the world so he's always gonna have some yeah. relevant podcast uh, interview but yeah. You know, academics kind of debates him on it and, and calls him out about it as well. But like, if you see his channel, like you could see like the sort of decline in views. It's like, Ugh. oh, for sure. I like his you like know? I like his like obscure ones, like when he interviews like fucking porn stars and shit like that. I'm yeah, like, 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 that's cool. Like, no, nobody else is really doing that type but of. But that's what he was doing for a while, and I guess like he got into some trouble. He kind of stopped with it. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, because I'm, you know. I'm pretty sure that all that content probably got super explicit. Yo, super fast. Well, he dates a porn star and he has a baby with one now. So yeah, well she well she's. It's a fine line. She's an OnlyFans, and she only yeah. does work with him. She's a masturbation like, star. <laughs> you know, so yeah, that yeah, makes sense. I don't know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know, God bless. <laughs> but, you know, I, that's not a human being. That I, you know, that's not even my best friend. Yeah. That guy right there, I'm not going to lie to you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't like that. I can put that clip right there. That's the whole promotion for the whole podcast. <laughs> <laughs> going from masturbation to starting. Like, oh, what the fuck's going on? What's going on, man? Oh, you know, I wish happening. that nigga all the best. <laughs> He's from, I believe, from Boston. I think so. And yeah, we yeah. are friends with the person who originally made the podcast. Yeah. Um, the, the, no, whatever that shit's called. The yeah, the No Jumper. Jumper. What's his name? Chris Long? No. Yeah, yeah Chris, Chris Long. Long. Chris, Chris Long. Long. Okay. The guy Chris that started Long. No Jumper with him. That's what I'm saying. I like No Jumper, but I just feel like even him and Vlad, like, they just have, like, nobody. The, I don't know. It's, yeah. The, the, you guys really could should be it, like, bro. You know what I see? Yeah, we'll be there. I man. see uh, 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 happiness with us. Mm -hmm. I see a uh, celebration of the yes. culture with us. We're almost yeah. like the young um, Nori. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It's like, always the smiles. Yo, yo, matter of fact, matter of fact, you know Nori. Actually, I do. We, I met Nori. We know DJF. Yo, yeah. No, oh, yeah? He comments on all this shit. I'm like, bro, you don't understand that we have a podcast what? and the person the that runs like one of the top three podcasts in the world comments on your shit. I'm like, uh, you would smack me if I didn't try to bridge that connection. Shout out to DJ EFN. Yo, he goes hard. <laughs> oh, He does all the promo ads and shit. He, I mean, listen, no, no, he goes super hard. He was, he's, um, you know him. We went to, uh, we was in Miami, me and Flawless, um, for, with Tech Nine for, for a show with uh with Mayday, he was managing Mayday. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sure he's still I, I think managing he still Mayday, does, so yeah. yeah. He's managers like recognize and Burns, all them. Yeah, we went wow, to and we did a show true. with them and it was yo, the after party was crazy. Yeah. Yo, we went we pulled up and Nori was there, everybody was there, and Tech Tech Nine was there, and it was just it's crazy. So many women. Speaking of Nori, that Drake drink champs coming out. I'm so excited for that. Listen. Don't, don't talk the to me about that. I'm a, I might fucking have an orgasm that day watching that shit. First. Yo, yo, that's however the, long his it is. aura is so crazy, bro. Because like, 
nobody else can do that i don't get it like nobody yeah. else can drop it in and we'd be so looking forward to the interview listen bro and i'm not gonna lie i've, I've analyzed, I analyzed a lot of shit right now there's like a weird dynamic going on in like hip-hop uh journalism where it's like the older like legends which they've always have gone but they're going on nori but they're going on nori like way more than ever like he's getting really good like he hasn't missed and like the mm. last 10 interviews have been really good phenomenal um and like i love breakfast club but there's sort of like a like a decline a bit but I, they've been yeah. getting better like their, yeah. their chemistry is really good so i you know it's you know what's weird. so crazy i've been enjoying the breakfast club more now really the chemistry's and i think amazing. it's because they're starting to care now mm-hmm so they're doing content that's more they're more conscious about the type of people they bring up there yeah and the conscious the, the the type of pro, the, the information they want to promote yeah, and yeah. the people yes. they want to promote and it's oh. very black afrocentric and i love yeah. it you know what I'm and like younger artists yeah you know almost like the don't jumper lane like they'll have random yeah. like just you know they had the guy who just did the she's a runner she's a track star she's a runner she's a track star like that uh, song um, they had Muski it Muski, had, they had yeah. him on i was like damn why they got Muski on like yeah. what the hell already and they got the other guy that uh, Jipman Tone on a quick stand. Yeah, like the quick uh, Jipman Tone on a quick stand. Like the quick stand, uh, Moray. They Moray. had him on. I, I know all these songs. Yeah, these are like these things go crazy. Yeah, get on, Josh. Yeah, listen to that. I'm gonna send you a playlist. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right. I think that's gotta be enough. I didn't say anything that I wanted to say, but. <laughs> Watch another clip. <laughs> you keep telling. That's the point of this is to watch another clip. Oh my god! Because they just came out of one, and they're gonna watch another one. Cheers. Cheers. Damn, this thing keeps getting. This is like sad to look at. 